Alright guys, what's going on? This is Mr. Katz, and today I'm gonna be drinking your milk! How awkward would that be? I am not going to do that. All instead, I'm gonna be talking about... Teamwork, team play. What is teamwork? What is team play? What a crap introduction this has been so far. Generally talking about, uh, several ways you can do different modes in the Warzone game mode, because that's predominantly where teamwork is. Or it should be. It's also evident in operation mode, but if you're looking for teamwork tips in guerrilla warfare, then you're playing the wrong game because the idea is to kill people. If you did want a guerrilla warfare tip though, shoot people in the face. That'll probably be the best tip ever for guerrilla warfare. Okay. First mode we have up on this match is search and retrieve. We all know the idea of this. It's to grab the propaganda speaker and take it to your corresponding location. Uh, I... The, what team? I'm on the Hellgas side. Okay. Hellgas need to take the propaganda speaker and pretty much take it to the opposite side of the base. ISA do the same thing. Except the Hellgas drop-off point is pretty much in the open, whereas the ISA one is in a building. Both of which are on the left side of the map, down here. ISA turn left, Hellgas turn right, ISA up a floor, Hellgas down a floor. I gotta get fucking shot in the face. In search and retrieve, you can pretty much get away with being any class. I mean, this is on Frozen Dam. Again, I'm sorry for having Frozen Dam, it's just mo the majority of my good games are on. Thank you, closed beta and open beta. You've allowed me to learn the map from these fucking other morons. I'm sure everyone else knows the map, but whatever. Any anyway, that's that. As I said, in Search and Retrieve, you can get away from being any class, really. At the start, I went as a tactician, as I do stay as a tactician throughout the whole game, because my favorite class. Uh, to capture that attack spawn point, that thing comes a bitch later on. Uh, not in the game, I'm just saying it can develop into a bitch later on. You can get away with being an infiltrator, a tactician, yeah, you could probably, actually, you might want to be an engineer. And then hold choke points off with the little, uh, little turret you have going on. Then again, the tactician could probably do the same thing with the sentry drone. Food for thought. Except we're not talking about food, we're actually talking about the video game. With something to think about. Marksman probably would be, uh, I don't know. Sniping marksman. Um, oh god, they're gonna go capture that point as I throw a desperate grenade. Sniping marksman's pretty much useless unless you're going for kills. If you're gonna be the close range marksman, then... I don't know, that's a bit more useful, I imagine. This dumbass comes running out, fucking cloaked. I know where you came from. I can I fool me with that infiltrator class. Um, yeah, marksman's pretty much just a shooter. It's not really got any... Uh, benefit to playing search and retrieve unless he just wants to piss the other team off by sniping. I don't have ammo here and I've just pulled out the rocket launcher just as a desperate attempt. But watch this! What's this? A double melee! Nice! If only Chuck Norris could do double melees, they well, probably can. Nah, no, forget it. I don't know how the hell that happened. I ended up with a double melee kill and a pick up a shotgun, which I do horribly with, I must say. A you know, little quick tip from the shotgun, this is from me. To bear that in mind, I suck with a shotgun, but every time you pump, try and find a bet try and find, uh, you know, a wall or cover to hide behind. But yeah, we're one all in the search and retrieve. Okay, what have I gone through? Medic isn't exactly needed unless you're die hard with a team or a squad, and you're devoted to carrying the propaganda speaker. Are you... I don't know, you're in a group of three, one of you's a tactician, the other one can be, you know, the other two people can be two medics. Tactician goes down, one of you pick him up. He goes down again, pick him up again. They grab the propaganda speaker and run to the, uh, to the drop-off point. My idea of thinking here is, is I want this tactical spawn area. Also, the propaganda speaker was right next to it, but the main idea was the spawn area. When I get shot in the back, I don't know where he came from. He might have ran past me or come out the doorway to the left. I don't know. There's only 32 seconds, 33 seconds in this game mode. Oh, man. Oh. Jesus Christ. Bloody tired here. Oh, man. 
No idea he's just frightened of a sentry drone, trying not to get shot. And, uh, well, since we're running out of our time, I'm pretty comfortable knowing that they're not going to pick it back up again, even though they're pretty much right by it. If they ran, they probably could have made it, but they didn't. I think I'd die right here. Yeah, I do. No idea why I brought the rocket launcher, then again, I have no idea why that guy just stood there with the propaganda speaker. It's only 20 feet away, he could have won the round for his team, but... Oh well, that's the idea of not being a team player. The main idea of this is that I don't give a fuck about my KD in this game. As long as I get a win, it doesn't bother me. Okay, now we're moving on to assassination mode. Since my assassination, well, friendly anyway, he's moving up to these the uh, the dam area. So it's already captured the tactical spawn area beforehand. He should be okay. But he sets up a turret anyway, which is also a good thing to do. Uh, it limits... I don't know. At least it gives you... If it doesn't kill the person trying to kill his ass, then he'll uh, simply warn you because it'll start shooting. You see shooting, you run towards shooting, unless that shooting's coming in your direction. Oh, man. Okay. Tact... Uh, Tactician, what am I talking about? Okay, assassination if you're on the defensive team. You can... The best person to be around the uh, the assassination target is a medic. Obviously because they're more likely to keep the person alive with the first triage ability, which will buff everyone's healing rate. And uh, if they do go down, the target isn't classed as dead until it's... until they're, uh, they're actually dead. That's a voice crack in a hair. Well, this means if the car if the uh, target's mortally wounded, how the hell this guy didn't kill him? I have no idea. Yet my guy was just looking at him. Hello, Helgen. I mean, hello, ISA. My name is George. Try don't kill me. I feel sorry for what I've done. Ah, oh, but anyway. Yeah, medic would probably be best for the assassination type because they get they buff their healing rate and they can revive them if they're mortally wounded. If you are the assassination target and you're mortally wounded, don't respawn, otherwise you just instantly lose. There's still a chance you can win even though you are mortally wounded. Okay. If you're attacking on the assassination... If you're, atta if you're going for the assassination kill, uh, depending on whether the target and you know the target is in an open area, you can probably get away with being a long-range marksman with the sniper rifle. Sniper rifle. Sniper rifle! Oh, you could also go with the infiltrator. Disguise yourself and run headlong towards them, and some people will not be aware whatsoever. And you can either break the neck for an insta kill, or run in with a grenade, knowing you're gonna die. Whatever. I will mention the gameplay in this one, I swear. Um, something like that. Okay, what are we doing now? We're doing search. Okay. Main idea for me is to either get in this general area of where the bombs are and make a presence. Being I am in there, they know I'm in there, and hopefully I can hold them off so my team can come in and then plant bombs. Not because I want to kill her, because uh, if an infiltrator, if a third tier infiltrator class on my team came in, they could uh, plant um, bombs at half the rate that I could. I mean, I do make attempts to plant the bomb, and they do plant the bomb a couple times, but it ends up failing on my ass. But, um, yeah, that was my general idea of thinking. I don't understand this. I kill the guy behind him in the window, yet I don't... Sh bleh, I don't shoot the guy in front of him who's fucking shooting me. I don't care about the guy in the window. He's locking downstairs, shoved with a rifle up his arm. I don't give a damn about that fuckbag. I do care about the fucking tactician guy shooting me in the face. Yeah, that didn't work. Ah, screw it. Okay, now this guy had just fails at aiming, or got unlucky. See? Now I fail at planting the bomb. Wrong way, you moron. Get back on there and start planting the fucking bomb. Okay, one debt charge planted. See, it'd be a lot easier if I was the infiltrator class and I could plant at half the speed. Get out of here, boy. Now, I'm not gonna lie, there is a part where I fuck up in this, and I'll tell you. Have a look at the green bit. See that red one flashing? That means there's a guy on the right. And yet, I don't realize until he actually defuses the fucking thing. 
In hindsight, I should have just turned around as soon as I saw that and shot him. Instead, I ended up going the wrong way. Yes, I did kill about three other people, but we didn't get the bomb off. And if I would have shot the bomb, then we probably would have won that round quicker. Anybody in the bag, then we go on to the next round, but no. Now my method of thinking as a tactician is to go and capture the spawn area. If we have the spawn area that goes behind the enemy, it'd be like a, some kind of pincer movement. Imagine a crab closing its claw. You have our guys coming from our home base, the Helgan side, and you have, well, probably a couple guys coming from this side. So it'd be like closing them in the middle, and then they'd be able to come through the left side of the bomb area, which would be better for us. Oh, kill me and start trying to take the post, will you? Oh, I'm not having that, boy. I guess you didn't have the third tier tactician ability where you can capture these things a hell of a lot faster. Oh, hello. Go and plant the bomb. How long have we got? Minute and twenty? And I get shot in the back. I don't know why that medic guy didn't just start planting the bomb to begin with. I have no idea. Unless he saw someone in there, I don't know. This part confused the hell out of me because I thought this was my sentry drone shooting him. But in retrospect, it was their sentry drone who was shooting me and there was a tactician behind me. Who then shot me and then took the post. So I can't spawn there. Luckily, someone else got this middle tactical spawn here. So now I can go in here and try and kill this guy. Now I made the mistake and start reloading, which I shouldn't have done. I should have just gone around the corner, crouched and shot or pre-fired the way around the corner. That would have probably been a lot better, again, in hindsight. A marksman, well, a closer range marks with the STA-52 rifle could probably do a lot better job at making the enemy confused if they have the third tier radar. Or just being hidden because they wouldn't show up on it. For a sentry then, I get a lucky kill there. Not gonna lie. Okay, we have 20 seconds. I wanted that point. Can I still plant the bomb? That is the question, children. As some of you may not be children, but I'm going to call you that. Unless you say you don't want to be called that. Fuck it, I'm not going to call you children. Okay, we plant the bomb and I die. But there's a guy behind me. So we should be fine, but nope, that guy dies as well. Shit hits fan. We lost it. Well, we didn't get that tactical spawn in here again. I run in. What can I do, I wonder? Can I prevent them from doing the bomb? Shoot that guy. I should have cooked a grenade and just thrown it out the window. All ran in with the rocket and been a cheap bastard and he just shot the fucker. Be like, you're not planting bombs now. Wanna know why? But you're fucking in pieces all over the fucking dam. Well, he's like leaving entrails of walls and all that crap. But in the end, we ended up losing that round, which kind of sucks because I'm probably netted like near enough 2,000, 2,500 points. I think that was a medic I just saw that. Yeah, it was. I, I, I failed to. Tactician, yeah, I failed to notice the guy. I just sent him on the stairs. I was like, see you in hell, punk. And, uh, I ignored him. And because I ignored him, he ended up shooting me in the back. Not fun. So now I want this tactical spawn area yet again. This tactical spawn area is probably mm, uh, the one I want all game. It's the one I still want every time I play Frozen Dam. This is simply because it's right next to their spawn, if you start spawn hell gas side anyway. Actually you can capture it as well if you're ISA because you're right next to the defending objective. Kind of like the one near the dam for the hell gas. It's a very good tactical spawn area and I luckily get the executioner award. So someone else, I didn't even notice what the hell was going on. So um, yeah I managed to get that kill, someone else put him into uh, the mortally wounded state and I just basically rounded him up. Not exactly the one for me. Okay, now we're doing capture and hold. More for work a teamwork based class on this would be tactician would be the ones who capture the points. Because if they have the third tier, I can't remember what it's called. Third tier ability, I think it's the primary ability. These cap these guys capture the uh, capture and hold areas a lot faster than everyone else can, making them ideal for the objective based player who will want to get the fucking point and win. That would be the idea of thinking amongst this. And then Frozen Dam, I gotta give it to the hell against. The, if you get the like the ones closest to this side, so it's the um, oh shit, the ones closest to the dam, a, a, a marksman can totally rip ass. There's this one here. I have no, and there's the one in the middle. Main fight's gonna be over this one here. 
a marksman can either go all the way up into the dam, the building I'm about to run in, well, the building to my left, hide up on the second floor there and watch the middle uh, capture and hold zone. Anyone who comes up there gets shot. Now, I'm going to explain to you now that if you have a bunch of engineers on your team actually doing one of their job, you can replace extra ammo with armor and you can get away with shit like that. The only way I ever survived that is because I have armor. If I had infinite, not infinite ammo, if I had extra ammo, yes, I'm out of ammo, but I'm going to pick up your gun, sunshine, and move on. What's this? Flickering in the middle? We can't have that now, can we? Launch a rocket and hope for the best, and I managed to get a kill. Even though we did lose the middle, I got a kill. Well done, Dave. You must be very proud of yourself, and now I'm going to go and try and help the medic over here. Sorry, I dropped my pen, because I'm swiddling it around like no tomorrow, like a baton. Okay, idea of capturing this. Couple guys up here. I love this fucking machine gun. I mean, I gotta invest more in the. I think he was a infiltrator. I get lucky with that guy. I'm starting to die. I don't get that kill because I run out of bullets. And the guy gets a grenade up. Good news is, though, we have all three points. So we're gonna comfortably get this round. An engineer could be easily uh, adaptable because the setup turrets before, um, in front or behind of the capture and hold areas at least if some form of distraction if they don't get kills if they don't get kills they'll still do damage still good body count can you you can get away with being any class now if you ever go into a guerrilla warfare room the majority of the people who are in there are either tacticians who are just spamming the fucking rocket launcher or a marksman with a sniper rifle and a st-52 i rifle all the, the simple strategy to this will, it will be the same as it is for guerrilla warfare. So I was camping this guy in the, as if he wanted to get back up like a newbie. Then I could shoot him again. But nope, he didn't want to do that. He really didn't have the ability or he was smart. Uh, but yeah, all it is is going for kills. Fucking, it, it's, it's not that hard. Guy on left, trick was need. Come on, wait for him to come through. Are you coming through? Nope. Okay, I got the one. I don't know what happened to the other one. Jump down here, I get scared for some reason. There's a corpse on the left. Actually, I think the engineer, the uh, infiltrator did was underneath. And this is him coming up here, right there. Now, I gotta say, I do prefer the ISA rifle to the uh, Hellgas rifle. I'm not about the ones that actually do fully automatic fire versus free round burst. I don't know why. Okay, and then I pick up this guy's gun. I think this is the guy I killed earlier. But anyway, I pick up these gun. And uh, kind of hesitant going around this corner. But, um, yeah. In short, body count is basically TDM. You, you guys already know this. To be effective team member in TDM, you just kill people and not die. Be it you want to... Uh, actually, I don't know how the medic philosophy works on this. I think if you put a medic in mortally... Like, if you put someone in mortally wounded state to begin with, you get the kill and it adds to the body count. Whereas... Even if they get revived and you kill them again, that'll still add to the body count and uh, and the uh, thing won't get replaced. For example, if I shoot someone, they go into mortally wounded state, that's plus one to the body count. However, if that person then gets revived and I shoot them again, that's still another one to the body count. So the previous ticket doesn't get replaced if I revive them. Um, and that medic shoots me in the face. I still think body can goes on for too long, but um, I do see some people just going for kill whoring in the the war zone mode. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? Kill whoring is effective to an estate in certain modes like capturing, holding, like preventing them from capturing the bloody thing. As I nearly fail right there, and I nearly kill myself, and I drop a floor and land in the snow. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, if you know on your team you have a couple of engineers. And uh, they actually are repairing ammo dumps and all this. There's no need for the extra magazine. You can pre you can pretty much run armor and uh, you can last a little longer, which I think is a lot better in my opinion. Then I have no idea why I pull this out. I still kind of remember why I tried to pull that out. But I get shot on the left, and that's my price for running out there like a dumbass. In retrospect, I should have ran around the left, or well, not ran, walked around the left. And uh, look there first. I'm guessing he was behind that meh window. 
where I killed that other guy before, and I didn't kill the one in front of him. Fucking bastard. But, um, what the hell? Yeah. It could be, you could defend areas, I guess, with either the engineer's turret or the tactician sentry drone. Tactical spawn areas could be useful if you're trying to spawn lock them in their home spawn, but... I don't know how... I mean, if your team is physically... Well, not physically. You're dominating them. Ridic I get scared. I think that goes a little too close. Um, but if your team is actually, like, just straight... Like, literally dominating them all the way back into the spawn, you pretty much one hands down to begin with. Well, there's body cam. Now... Search and destroy, I said this before. Now... On the Halgan side in Frozen Dam, you can easily get away with being a marksman. Easily. You just can't have everyone be a fucking marksman. Yeah, triple need. Fuck all of you down there. Hello, engineer. Goodbye, engineer. Hello, grenade. Bye bye, everyone. I am dead. I have about 50 fucking shrapnel rounds that have gone right through my noodle. Bad times indeed. As I said, the tactical spawner right upside the dam is very useful for defending and or attacking the dam. Which is pretty much the key area to defending and attacking the dam. That's pretty much what I tried to get across but failed at miserably. A lot of people don't know that you can actually get to the dam through these tunnels. See that tunnel? Go right and you can go under the dam. Then you come across. That's how the guy came into the, um, the dam beforehand. Come on, get crouched, son. Um, so the dude came into the dam beforehand to try and kill an assassination target, and uh, that's how that happened. Now I see a lot of our team are on the right, and I am on the right still. God knows why. I shouldn't be on the right, but I see this marksman going in and he's trying to shoot someone, and this guy comes out of nowhere and fucking shanks his ass. Which isn't good. I, I'm, I don't manage to save my marksman friend. I'm sorry, marksman. Maybe you should have been camped up in a fucking building with your sniper rifle. No offense to everyone who plays Marksman. Not at all. I wonder if the Marksman doesn't appear on the radar when they shoot bullets. As a red dot, I'm not sure. But I pick up his rifle and I clean that guy up because we lost his tactical spawn area. If you do lose a tactical spawn area, get it back. <laughs> That's simple. Simply as it is. However, if you want to take over a tactical spawn area, just simply prevent the other team from spawning there. Just simply bring it into neutral. Not the gear stick. The actual tactical spawn area. If it's in neutral, no one can spawn there, as you probably know. And that should be enough to simply deny them of that spawn. I noticed there was a... Uh, someone actually planted here, so I'll come up here and actually have a look around. But someone already killed them and already defused the bomb. Fair enough. But um, my favorite class is still the tactician class, just because I, I like what they do. It's like the um, the uh, mainly the tactical spawn areas and the the radar. Even though the marksmen don't appear on the radar, it doesn't bother me. Speaking of the marksmen, I wish Guerrilla Games actually put in a different type of melee. I mean, you have brutal melees, which you can either like break the neck, shove a knife through their eye socket, break their um, thrust your from through someone's eye. You know, there's all that stuff, which is fine and dandy. But if you see a marksman crouched over the side of a building with a sniper rifle, I wish he could have just gone, Hello! And then Falcon! Punch! And then you just punch them off the side of the fucking building. They went flying and like, no! And you were like, boom! And you were like, boom! And you just beat the shit out of them. That'd be, that'd be sweet, but... Of course, it'd take like five seconds to do the maneuver, which would obviously eat the shit out of your time, and you'd probably be killed. But that would be fucking sweet if you could do that. And what the hell are we? Oh, we're still defending. Okay. Now I think this team actually try and uh, come in from the Helga spawn area on the left-hand side soon. I'm not sure. My main thing is to make sure this tactical spawn area stays clear, otherwise if it doesn't, they have an area to spawn and it's easier to the, uh, to plant bombs. Which in retrospect they probably could have gone, you know, the ideal situation would be tacticians to counter, to, um, to counter, to capture the spawn and infiltrators to plant bombs. That's the general idea of that. 
There's two guys around there. I mean, I am in no rush. I'm defending, yet I say I'm in no rush, yet I go around the corner. Don't need to. I can wait here for, like, another 35 seconds or so. But my team kill them, and I get sniped halfway across the map. See, this is what I don't understand. Why is a marksman with a rifle standing there? He has no intention whatsoever of getting that fucking bomb. Yet... Oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, I love engineers giving me ammo. It's amazing. I fucking love the engineers. I mean, I should be investing more points into the engineers. I mean, my second... Um... Another voice crack for the win. My, uh, my second class is, uh, the medic. If I'm not playing the, um, the tactician, I'm playing as the medic. That's pretty much it. Oh, God. This game went a hell of a lot faster than I was thinking. I was like, how the hell did we get, like, just six games? And it's, like, over. And I'm like, oh, yeah, search and retrieve were all equal. But, yeah, that's pretty much the game, and that's the general talking about, of, uh, talking about teamwork. Teamwork is invaluable to winning a game. Fuck you, KD. Play for the objective and win the game. No, I get a fucking ass load of points there. I think this is, like, the most I've got in one game. It's fucking retarded. But, um... Yeah, that's me rambling about teamwork somewhat and coming up with some crazy shit. Uh, while I'm talking. Over 16,000 points in one game. Ah, that's quite... I don't know, I'm happy with that. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching and, uh... Have a good day, everyone.